Johnson is doing up there in Washington for these damn niggas down here. Yeah, worst thing is, you know, you know, all the niggas down here, they didn't want none of that stuff, that free stuff, till the federal started spoon feeding them. I mean, they were they were happy, but you know, took it easy. Right. They didn't work too hard. They had plenty of work when they needed it, and that's all it was to it. They see them out there in the fields, and they feel sorry for them. They said, oh, look, they're working too hard. They don't realize all them years of breeding in Africa made them fit for that physical labor. I mean, they like it. <laughs> Bananas off the trees made a base. <laughs> become one of them things uh, you call a, mm -hmm. a killer. Sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, you just want to flash a uniform. Like when you were in our school. Impressed you did it, baby. It wasn't your uniform, sweetheart. Well, what was it then? Your sparkling blue eyes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Give me some gas. I tell uh, Regular. Make that 87 cents worth. Raymond, come here, Raymond, come here. What you, what you want, man? I bet you ten dollars I make that shot. What you say? Oh, man, you ain't got ten dollars. Well, it don't matter, because I'm going to make it anyhow. <laughs> Get on out of here, man. Let me show you how to... on me. This time, man. <laughs> yes. You know that's luck, don't you? Get some, mister? <laughs> yeah, fill it up. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Goddamn niggas breed like flies, don't they? Motherfucker didn't go in. Hey, boy. Don't you know there's a white woman in that car? Now, you listen. 
you gotta go over there and apologize for what you just said. And then you clean your mess off my car. Like hell, I will. Well, like hell you won't. Now, you just come right on. Hey, man, you take your hands off me. Now, listen. I'm gonna punish you. Hey, man, get me out. What's wrong with you? Get that deal. <laughs> I'm gonna get you niggas for this! Let's get out of here. Raymond, see, I done told you about your temper, boy. You gotta watch out for them white boys. Every time I save your ass, I'm the one that got us in trouble. With Winnipeg. The news is out that the Ku Klux Klan is after us. In fact, we're the A number one reason for them getting back in the high gear. Shit, I don't much like running away. But you like breathing, don't you? What makes you think it's gonna be any better in the army? Well, you have to get into a good outfit, you see? The better trained you are, the better chances you got. Yeah, hey, now if we get into that special forces thing, then maybe we can stay together. Special forces? Man, are you crazy? We'll go to war for sure. Being as how there's a war, we're gonna go to war anyway. We'll have to jump out of airplanes. Got the whole thing all ass backwards. I know what they mean. I ain't going back out there no more. They can have this damn war. Shit. That lot of choice you got. You got us into this damn war. Me? Man, you the one suggested that we come here in the first place. Damn, it doesn't make any difference. Somebody must know what he's doing out here. We gotta join it with something better before it's too late. All right, men. This is Captain Quinn. He says, uh, he has a proposition for us. That's right. Captain Quinn. On your feet, soldiers. You grunts had your butts in the grass long enough to know this here is a jungle war, guerrilla war. Only it's being fought by men who think it's World War I. Fixed defenses that get overrun. Shit. Fixed defenses are something to hide in and not fight from. And my men don't fight from no fixed defenses. We're hunters. And we stay on offense. We eat cold meals out of a can. And sometimes we sit stone still for hours while the bugs crawl all over us. But we kill a lot of Charlie, and they don't kill many of us. Now, if you want in, I can arrange it. If you don't, I hope you bastards can run, because you're going to be picking them up and putting them down. Well, goddamn, Captain. This could be your gut. Spilling all over the terrain. It's a thick ass war troop. The enemy's imagination is unlimited. And when you're out with Quinn, 
They're right in the VC's backyard. Now they put these in the ground. Some grunt comes along, steps on it, and Charlie racks up another casualty. So we got hit. And we installed steel inserts. So Charlie comes right back at us with something else. Like this. Now the spikes are pointed downward. Try to jerk your foot out, the deeper they dig in. And no steel insert's gonna stop that. All right. Here's another one of Charlie's toys. We call this a mud tater. The rain peels the potato, and the potato peels your ass. Now, since you never know what Charlie's gonna leave behind for you, the only thing that you can do is try to avoid the places where he's likely to leave them. Now, never take a path. And never walk parallel to one. Never take the easiest route around anything. Look out for bridges. Watch out for stepping stones. Cross where it's deep. Don't cross where it's shallow. Charlie can do more with the river bed. We could take this night advantage away from the V.C. You up for a little night fighting? Why not? Get the V.C. so goddamn jumpy they'd start shooting themselves. Yeah, but if the V.C. moved big at night, we might run into a big force. Now you know how, how Charlie feels about us during the day. Who goes there? Private Moffat, Private Tease, and Private Moffat. Advance one to be recognized. E pluribus. E pluribus unum. Come forward. You guys with Quinn? Yeah. Quinn bought it. What? He's dead. Good, huh? <coughs> this stuff is bad, buddy. Give me back. Come on, Junior. 
get up off of it. You know, the world's largest smack rack is right here in Saigon. Yeah, but you don't want none of that stuff, Junior. It's worth a lot of money, stay side. Yeah, you know that kid got a point. It's a big bankroll, though, Junior. <coughs> Less than you think. We could pull it. As a matter of fact, already got some investment. Oh, be cool, man. Be cool. You got the shit? You got the bread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see it. Let me see the bread. Watch it, that stuff's almost pure. What'll it cut to? I don't know. Depends on how greedy you are and how eager your customers are. A hundred to one, maybe. Hey, a little something for all my sick friends, huh? Eh? Right. Let me know when your friends get sick again. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's gonna be glad you back, Raymond. Hey, you sure thought that street corner's gonna fall down back you after I hold it up, man. <laughs> you guys show sure looking sharp. Hey, you want a drink? Can I get y'all a drink, huh? Y'all want a drink? Girl, get out, KP. It goes down to the dispensary. And guess what? It turns out. He got the question. <laughs> Do you know Winifred? Does he still have it in for us? It's been a long time. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, he ain't the kind of person that be getting over these things kind of easy like, you know? Well, I heard something a while back. Had a few of them rednecks all riled up. They got over that soon enough. Shit, I ain't afraid of that son of a bitch. <laughs> you ain't afraid of my Raymond. Well, what you gonna do? Off him? I might. <laughs> you know, oh, forget about him. He's small potatoes anyway. Anyway, when are we gonna get out of these monkey suits and get some real clothes? Monkey suits? Jim, this might be a monkey suit to you. But in this suit, I feel just like King Kong. You look like King Kong. You are King Kong, nigga. <laughs> Man, you never could hold your nigga. Gee, don't you drink to get drunk? Well, I guess some of us do. Being that you're so good at it. Oh, get off my case, Junior! Oh, now, come on, come on. Y'all, you, you want another drink, Raymond? Hey, give him another drink. Give everybody another drink. Hey, 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 do it, do it. Come on, man, let's get out of here. Hey, Ned, time to hit the road. No way, man. I'm busy. Come on, man. Ah, Jesus Christ, will you look at this here? Boy, this fool had a good time last night, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, because he sure paying for it now. <laughs> <laughs> he must have had a DTs. Yeah. I think he needs our help. Come on, man. Girl, what's 
Get out of here. Leave me alone. Why we gotta go to Montgomery? So nobody here knows how much money we got. Come on, man. They got all them bad stores down in Montgomery, man. We can buy some rags and shit. <laughs> oh, come on, Raymond. Listen, them stores will be there when we get there. Just leave me alone now. Leave me alone. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get up, my man. Take your hands off me. You want to go? Let's go. Driver, on with to Montgomery. And watch the holes in the road. Charlie, <laughs> Jimmy. What? <laughs> what if somebody comes by? Oh, I ain't nobody coming out here, okay? What if I said you just don't turn me on anymore? Well, then you're going to have to give me a chance to redeem myself. <laughs> you slow down. Got to take your clothes off anyway. Uh, <laughs> Got to get man. your shoes off. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jimmy, mm -hmm. what if I said, uh, not today, sir? Hey, come on! <laughs> Goddamn tease. Hey, come on! Well, that's more like it. Got you now! Got you now!
Did you all uh, hear about Louise Freeman? Nah, what about it? She got raped, that's what. About who? Winifred and Tupac. Winifred? Yeah. She and a boyfriend. They got jumped by them. They beat a boyfriend up and then two of them nailed her. And? Well, what happened to him? That's just it. Ain't nothing happened. I mean, they got away with it. Yeah. They walking around like, like ain't nothing happened. Well, Ace, did somebody call the cops? Do they know? The cops don't give a shit. Well, I give a shit. Well, you ain't the cops. No, 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 come on. When, when, when something like this happens, we all go to the church and we have a meeting and we... That's not a good that's gonna do. That's just the way things are around here. We'll see about that. Leroy? Looked like a goddamn highway fatality there. Hey, you got no cause to make jokes. Especially not with you standing there on my porch and a whole gang of niggas rampaging through Kincaid County. Oh, it was a... There's a gang of them, huh? That's right. Well, how many, uh... How many would you say there was? Had to be at least five. Five of them. Well, did you recognize any of them? No, they come up behind me in the middle of the night. Well, I mean, was there a tall one or a short one or I one of them? Like... come from behind. You can't tell one nigger from another in the middle of the night, no how. Yeah. And, and they didn't steal anything, huh? They didn't steal anything. Well, now, let me see if I got this straight, Leroy. You're telling me that five black men that you never saw before attacked you for no apparent reason, huh? That's right. Uh-huh. Well, Leroy, I got to tell you, I think you brought this on yourself. Look, Jim, what are you trying to drive at? What I'm trying to tell you, Leroy, is that if you're smart, you will just forget this whole incident right now. Forget it? Hell, eight niggas come along here on my property in the middle of the night and try to kill me, and you tell me to forget it? Jim, you ought to go down to nigger town right now and arrest a few of them bucks. Make a few examples out of them. All right, now, Leroy, listen to me. You know, and I know, why you were attacked. And unless we call a halt to this thing right now, things in this county are just going to go from bad to worse. You know, Jim, I can't believe my ears. I mean, you sound like a goddamn nigger lover. Now, you can that talk, Leroy. Now, listen to me, Leroy. We don't know who beat you up. But we sure as hell know who raped that negro girl now, don't we? You ain't got no proof. And you are just damn lucky that I didn't throw your ass in the slammer then, and I might still do it. So you watch what you call me, Leroy. She's paid to protect white folks, not niggas. I am paid to keep the peace. And that means keeping the crazies off the street. Right now, that includes you, Leroy. So you watch your step. Well, does the sheriff know? Yes, the sheriff knows. But he says Winifred's got three witnesses says he was playing cards all night. A lot of good it'll do to be going to that sheriff. Now, don't judge the sheriff just because he's... Oh, now, listen. Now, you... Preacher, listen. Now, now, when's the last time they done locked up some white man for raping one of our women? Huh? Now, don't get like 
Well, we can't let him get off scot-free. Well, we're sending a petition to the county attorney. Maybe with some outside pressure, some community pressure, we'll let them know that we won't stand for such abuse and treatment of our young people. Reverend, how many of your petitioners are voters? Not too many, I'm afraid. Well, then the county attorney won't pay it any mind. He don't care about black folks in the first place, and especially if they don't vote. No, look, I try to lead them. They're set in their ways. They, they won't follow me to register. They want nothing to do with government. There are more black people in this county than white. Now, if we got them all out to vote, we could have our own county attorney and sheriff. Junior, I don't know. I don't know. You, you might be right. How would you do it? You'd have to reach a lot of people. The Baptist churches are a natural network for getting the word out. Brothers and sisters, the word today comes from the book of Proverbs, where it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. We have been a mournful people, torn from our homelands, our loved ones, our heritage. We are the slave labor upon which this land of freedom and justice was built. Amen. Amen. Am I right or wrong? Right. We have felt the oppressor's whip upon our backs, his rope around our necks, and his bullet in our hearts. And yet, we have persevered. For the Lord was with us. Yes, yes, yes. He gave us strength. Praise oh, praise the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Brought us far. But the journey is far from over. There are still wicked men who would deny us the right to live and prosper as free people of this society. Preach it, brother, preach it. Yes, yes. But today we possess a weapon which would deny them the power to do this. We have the capacity to utilize the tool that dictates the will of a free people. The one instrument that ensures our future and our rights as free people, the ballot, our votes, your vote, sister, yours, brother, Margaret. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We will support the righteous and we will vote to cast out Amen. the wicked. Hallelujah. Amen. We will vote and the people will rejoice. Amen. 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 Man, you better get out there, Bob, and get down to that courthouse and register. Registered a vote? Uh, yeah, you two, you, you all want to vote? How, how many? Come on, come on, let's just go right over here. Up there. The niggas is taking over the town! Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Uh, uh. What? By the busload. 
This place is full of negras. Now, look, you close down that office. I don't care. You just close it down now. You, a lawman? Oh, why not? Because you wind up arresting yourself. Now, who ever heard of a cop arresting himself? a new breed a lawman into the county. Well, I ain't got nothing to hide. You ain't got nothing to hide, huh? You, you, what about your source of wealth, huh? Well, if anybody asks, I'll lock them up. Oh, oh you can lock, lock them up. up. You can lock up a string, man. <laughs> oh. Hi, Julia. No. Hey, what's happening? Hey, how you doing, man? man. man. You're gonna get out of school this year, you're gonna have Mr. Howell ragging your ass again. Oh, no way, man. I got out of there. And I'm getting out of this town, too. I'm a college boy. Football? Oh, right, Penn State. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I'll go with you. Junior, they ain't got the uniform small enough. Oh, not to play fool. Take classes. You got to do that shit. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, 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 I guess we really pissed them off this time. Well, that's it, man. Yeah, I've had it. War, man, let's give it to him. I give you the Grand Cyclops, whose identity we are all bound never to reveal. Nighthawks of the Ku Klux Klan. Tonight, this Clavin has reached the highest glory. The foundation of Christian life that has persevered in the most demanding of times, including carpet bagging invasions from the north, Jewish treachery and deceit, and an international Catholic conspiracy spearheaded by a Catholic president, has once again survived the severest test. Communist agitation. A simple-minded negress who think themselves the social and political equal of the white man. Now, those responsible have felt the full fury of our wrath. But to kill the snake, gentlemen, you must first cut off its head. Now, we know who is responsible for this revolt against the Christian sanctity of our land. Three obstreperous Negroes instigating a heinous plot involving the colored churches have incited the peaceful Negroes of this country to challenge the white leadership that has served us all so well 
for so long. These men, Raymond Moffat, Junior Moffat, and Ned Tease, are responsible for this conspiracy. Now let their sentence for these crimes be swift and terrible. Let the long and righteous arm of the Ku Klux Klan reach out and smite those who would dare to defile our Christian civilization. You like that, boy? Well, you got plenty more coming. You don't admit to what you've done. Fuck off, white man. God damn, hot headed nigga. Shit. No oh, man used to hit me harder than that. Now hold on just a minute, Myra. Ain't no need to waste yourself on this boy. <laughs> We're gonna be scientific about this. Now, I ain't seen no nigga yet that would burn for he'd say anything you want, Myrie. What's it gonna be, nigga? You gonna burn him? He gonna talk. What the hell's going on here? Back off, Leroy. This boy killed one of his own people. That don't give you the right to torture him, does it? You got a case against this boy? Or are you just getting your rocks off? Jesus Christ, Mark. What is this, Leroy here and now you? Just keep it up, keep it up. Pretty soon I'm gonna have the whole goddamn clan in the slammer. All right, boy. Now, did you kill somebody? I didn't kill nobody, but somebody did, because Newt Biggers is shot. And shot? Mark, did you test this boy for powder burn? No, sir. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, there's one simple way to solve this, then, ain't there? Untie him. On time! Well, well, well. You don't look too bad, Raymond. Not for the worst. <laughs> What's going on? They said I shot Newt Biggers. Shot Newt Biggers? He did? Stone dead. Chip tested me for powder mark. And he let me go. Let you go? After he beat you up? No, it wasn't the sheriff. That damn Myrick. And some dudes they, the sheriff called Klansmen. That's a big surprise. Hey, Raymond, who you think shot me? I know who shot Newt. It was that Turner. I saw his car driving off. Did you tell the sheriff that? You think I'm crazy? 
with Myrick and them Klansmen still in there, I ain't saying nothing. Soon as they go, I'll tell the sheriff. say to you about tonight, Sheriff. Oh, come on now, boy. You know damn good and well that the county attorney is not going to prosecute that deputy for what he did to I you. I ain't talking about me, Sheriff. I know who shot Newt. It was Harold Turner, the county attorney. Oh, shit, boy, get out of here. I saw his car, Sheriff. Well, hell, that's no proof. You could test him for powder burns. Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't. Oh, you want me to go to the papers then, huh? Tell him you refuse to follow a lead on a murder? Now, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, all right. Now, we'll go and we'll test Terrell Turner for powder burns, all right? That's awful white of you, Sheriff. <laughs> no, Leroy, I, I got rid of the gun. Yeah. No, no, now there's no way they can pin it on me. We start in a rumor that the niggers did it anyway. <laughs> Well, what difference does it make if nobody believes us, huh? Yeah, who the hell is that? Hey, come in! Uh, no, no, it's just somebody at the door. Yeah. Now, look, you just relax, Leroy. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, all right? Now, keep calm. All right, talk with you. Bye-bye. Where? <laughs> Chef, did not expect to see you this time of night. Harold. What can I do for you? Well, Harold, um... Boyd here has a pretty serious charge against you. What's that? He claims he saw you shoot and kill a negro man by the name of Newt Biggers. Well, now that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's what I told him. So I figured you wouldn't mind if I was to test you for powder burn. Mind? Of course I'd mind. Oh, come on now, Harold. Just take a minute. Now, you don't want to make yourself look guilty, do you? That's what he's afraid of. Yeah, just to, just to prove him wrong. No, absolutely not. Now, don't be a fool, Harold. You know I don't need a warrant to test you. What do you want me to do, arrest you for failure to cooperate? Now, I said no, John. You going crazy listening to this nigga? You the one that going crazy. Guy three, what the hell do you want? That nigga was just in here. He took the sheriff over to test Harold Turner for powder burns. Holy shit. Where are they? They leave here yet? They already left. Gosh, I could never get over to Hell's in time. Wait a second, wait a second. Let me see now. Hold on now, hold on. All right, I got it. Now here's what we're going to do. All right, if I answer the phone? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah, hello. Now, hold on, hold on just a second, all right? I'd like to take this in the other room. Is that all right with you? Yeah. yeah. Guilty as hell, Sheriff. Still find that hard to believe. But did you see his face when you asked to take those tests for the powder marks? All right, Sheriff. I'm ready to be tested now. But uh, I'd like to do it downtown, where I can get me a reliable witness. Now get that line bastard out of here. Be a pleasure. 
I hope you fry, you son of a bitch. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's just get out of the car. Come on, come on. Fucking gall. I'm going to want him arrested for giving false witness to the police, Sheriff. Just keep moving. No reason to get there. All right, Mark, I'm here. What is it? I've got the killer cornered. I need help. Where are you? The old power plant on Smart Road. All right, now you take it easy. I'll be right there, 10 4. Harold, I got an emergency here. Now, you wait right here. Don't you leave. Uh, Raymond, listen, I can't take you back to town. Now, you get back by yourself. You hear me? It's me, Sheriff. Come on, what are we going to do here, man? Let's just... Look at yeah, that. Yeah, the price is going up. Going up, huh? Come on, come on, come on. Now, watch this. I know I'm going to get me something. Oh, come on. Well. All right, now, deuce is bet. Deuce is bet. One dollar. <laughs> Only a dollar? Only a deuce. I mean, what you want for nothing. Well. There's your dollar. Diamond Ace. Diamond <laughs> Ace in the hole. I'll oh, keep your mama out of this snare. Three dollars to you, Junior. Four. Four? To two deuces? To three dollars. Oh, come on now. Fool, you, you, you. What's three dollars to you? Nothing compared to what I lost already. Three dollars to you, Nair. Yeah. Yeah. Three dollars. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you guys, turkey. Just you and me, Put your two dollars in the pot. Put your two dollars in the pot. I'll see your damn you. two dollars. You boys better get out of here. The, sh the Ku Klux Klan's are looking for you. That's news. They're going to come directly for Raymond. And maybe you, you too. The sheriff won't be out here looking for anybody, anytime, any place. The sheriff? The sheriff is dead. Dead? What are you talking about, Rose? I just saw. Rose, how do you know that? I, I heard Turner talking on the telephone. Then Turner must be the one. Right. Kill the sheriff. 
or had him killed. Then he can have us killed, too. You're catching on. And this is going to be the first place he's going to come up looking for you, too. Hey, Dick, this isn't even a good fix defense for us. We're going to have to get out of here where we can go on the offense and go after them cats. Appreciate y'all coming out here. Also glad as many of y'all showed up as you could. And uh, as, you, as you know by the drum, we at war with the Ku Klux Klan. And we need y'all's help. Now, we don't want you to fight for us, nothing like that. But we do want something that's just as important. We want you to provide us with some, some intelligence. You never know which ones of them white folks you're working for belongs to the clan. You know, little bell like, like when you're in the kitchen washing the dishes and Miss Annie's talking on the phone. Or urban like, uh, like when you're serving Mr. Frank them drinks and he's sitting out there on the back porch talking to his friends. You know, his tongue gets a little bit loose and he's liable to say anything. Just, just keep your ears open. And then when you get all that information, just bring it all back to me. I'm going to see to it that it gets put to some good use. The only way we're going to be able to know what they're doing and how smart them is if we keep our eyes open and our ears open. Ace? Oh, Ace, this is Rose. Old man Turner still got it in for them boys. No, no, he don't know where they at. But, Ace, they're going to start some more foolishness, though, Ace. Like what? They're going to get after the preacher. You know when? This evening, after supper. How many? Myrick. Myrick and two more. Myrick and two more, huh? Thanks, Rose. I'll just do something about that. They just figured that Moffat done it? I reckon they figured he killed the sheriff. Don't know he didn't do it in his own preacher. Oh, well, come on, let's go do it.
And they've got Winifred, and now Turner's disappeared. I tell you, we got to be more careful. I think I know how we can get to that preacher. I believe I might have to make another little visit to that bar down nigger town. Get on the phone, boy. Call your preacher. You tell him. If and he don't tell us where the mouth of boys is here. I'm gonna blow your nappy head off. Move, boy. be necessary, Mr. Mr. Meyer. I know where they are. You do? Tell me, boy. It's down at old, old Mad River. An old barn. How do I get there? Take the dry road out by Sutter Stowe till you get to the end. Then you got about a mile, mile and a half for you before you get to the barn. Hey, boy. Look at me. to know is, why did you spread it around here that we's communists? Because it's true. Horse shit, Turner. What if it may be stupid enough to believe that shit, but you don't believe it? It's a good way to keep the white population scared, though, isn't it, Turner? And to keep yourself elected. It's well known that communist rabble rousers go around the country. It's side. not well known. It's well rumored by cats like Turner. Where in the hell did you first hear about communist rabble rousers? From Turner? And whose private army did you fight in? Turner's, you stupid son of a bitch. Do you actually believe that you can put on evil spirit costumes and call yourself dragons and burn crosses and all the darkies were shaking their shoes and afraid to fight your white supremacy? These darkies are about to do you in, mother. Harold, they... Now, look here. You are dealing in kidnapping here. 
Blade and Temple. Now, you think you can get away with this? Uh-uh. Hey. You've already got away with it. I can't promise nothing, but, but if you release us, I'll do what I can to have us dead. You already killed the sheriff, so what the hell is a couple of niggas? You already killed one for fun. You'll get killed regardless. You too. Why both? We gonna set fire to this old shack. And then we gonna nail your balls to the floor. And then I'm gonna give you a razor blade. And it's either cut or burn. <laughs> Burn, baby. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> Junior, they're here. All right, does everybody know what to do? I shot the same one you did. Hey, asshole! We got your pals in here! You shoot and you kill them! Maybe we could flank them. Take a couple of men and move around to that side of the house. Three of them coming up on our left flank. Get ready. Get up. Mm -hmm. You make one more sound. Get up. Get up.
little something for old Myrick. What the fuck? Good God, it, it's Leroy. You think we got them all? We got them all. Are you sure? Looks like I got the job on two murdering niggas. Looks like they was resisting arrest. Looks like... <laughs> Yeah. 